I'm Howard Goodwin. Welcome to All Aboard. Today we'll visit the Florida East Coast Railroad, a 365-mile Class 1 railroad which operates exclusively within the state of Florida. In 1885, Henry Flagler began building his empire with a 36-mile-long, 3-foot narrow-gauge Jacksonville, St. Augustine, and Halifax Railroad. The railroad was standard gauge and extended to Miami by 1896 and eventually reached Key West by connecting the Florida Keys with a series of viaducts. This extension to Key West was destroyed in 1935 by the Labor Day hurricane, leaving Miami as the southern end of the railroad. Throughout its over 100 years of service, the railroad has been at the forefront of many technological and operational advances. The FEC was among the first to use two-man crews, end-of-train devices, and concrete ties. Join us now as we travel the main line from Jacksonville south to Miami. Our train awaits. All aboard. Get ready for a video excursion over one of the least known but most progressive and dynamic Class 1 railroads, the Florida East Coast Railway. We'll travel the entire line between milepost zero in Jacksonville to Miami, some 365 miles. There are usually always trains moving around the Beaver Street Tower, located at the throat of the busy CSX Moncrief Yard. FEC numbers 430 and 444 move a cut of cars past the brick structure on a transfer run. As the FEC transfer gets out of the way, a pair of CSX GE wide cabs moves through the yard. Bowden Yard, on Jacksonville's south side, located eight miles from the start of the FEC, offers a broad panorama of sights and sounds, such as a stored private car. A single GP9 switcher is shoving a cut of cars through the yard. We are on the yard tower platform. Train and switcher movements around Bowden Yard at Jacksonville are monitored from behind the large windows of the tower. Away from the Jacksonville piggyback terminal, things are a bit quieter. A pair of GP40-2s run light through Bowden Yard, while GP9 number 661 waits for them to clear before proceeding with the cut of piggyback cars. The FEC fields an impressive roster of 62 units. The 400 series are GP40-2s. The 500 series are GP39s. The 600 series is made up of GP9s. And finally, the 200 series is comprised of SW1800s, of which there are only four. The FEC does not own any six-axle power. 